water here to raise fish. That's coming from the pipe from the hatchery that's turned into, they've created the natural waterfall right there. I can smell it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I think there's some birds down here who smell it. Yeah, the seagulls come in, they know where the free food is. But it's not only seagulls. The abundance of food here attracts fishing hawks called osprey. You are likely to see bald eagles, which thrive in places where fish are plentiful, as well as white pelicans and great blue herons. On this day, we even spotted a peregrine falcon perched in the cliffs above the river. The canyon is also rich with history and geologic features, some old ones that have developed over millions of years. A lot of people when they're on the boat, they come here and talk about how this entire area just looks like it's right out of an old western film. And others that have developed more recently. If you just go ahead and stare at that, you'll see a little round circle on that. And then picture that round circle as the eyeball of a frog. And that's frog rock that actually fell when this boat was going by in a dinner cruise about 13, 14 years ago. There are also rock formations under the water, and in some places they create hazards that are frankly very poorly marked. So heading up the river without a guide could be treacherous. And the Hagerman Valley is hot in summer. On this day in early August, the temperature soared to 105 degrees. But before you think about escaping the heat by swimming, you should probably see places where the fresh water and the river water come together. Nowhere is that more apparent than at Blue Heart Springs, where the polluted river gives way to water so clear you can easily see fish swimming along the bottom. The water may be swimming.